Um, what's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel. Make sure you tell your alliance about the channel. Um, I'm doing a giveaway right now on Twitter. I'll leave the link to that in the description. It's just my Twitter, Daydreams MMORTS. Giving away a $10 iTunes or Google Play gift card or Amazon, whatever you want. Starbucks, I don't care. You, If you win, I'll get you what you want. Anyways guys, um, today is usually my favorite day of the week. It's the Dragon Campaign, right? And as you saw earlier, I said that we are doing the Dragon Campaign at the usual time, 10 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, it was very rough because they put us against the number 22 ranked alliance. And yeah, it's the same alliance we played last week. They were 26 ranked last week. And um, you know, we were on like a 10, 10 win streak or something. And then they're going to put us up against these guys. I'm talking that the number one guy, he's got 170 million power, but his archer attack is 350%. So it's just impossible to do anything like, uh, you know, and that's why I really think that they should consider putting caps on, um, on statistics, caps on, um, like, uh, prestige, like, okay maybe make all troops max prestige three something like that that's like high enough to where it's not going to be like overbearing because right now just in one event keep it the same in regular keep it the same in regular um kingdoms keep it the same in kingdom conquest keep it the same in ancient battlefield but can we get one pure event that could possibly take some skill because in dragon campaign you have like objectives and stuff and you know when it's just you know I want this game to reach like you know its fullest potential and right now it's just a poop show it's just um you know it, it's just bad and you know it's the same for whenever i'm facing um you know people that are way for one the um the way that they pick matchups and the matching and the dragon campaign that needs fixed it's got to get fixed they need to match it like um you know by prestige castle levels power like say match up a team that has five prestige fives versus five prestige fives and if you can match them by you know if the prestige fives have the same amount of power do stuff like that don't be putting up um all of you guys are always telling me about the terrible matchups you're getting so i just want the dragon campaign to be good guys and um all of these things that they told us when we did the make clash of kings great again movement i haven't seen anything that they told us about coming to uh fruition except for this and i mean even this uh land of trials the rewards really haven't been that great sometimes you get a lot of magic stones but where's the research stones we can't get research stones still there's no way to possibly ever get enough research stones unless you buy them and um you know the way this game's going i don't want to spend any money that's why i've got five thousand gold right now i just spend enough gold and i buy enough gold to keep me afloat and to um play the dragon campaign and kingdom conquest and stuff i'm not uh i'm not gonna waste money on it and i don't recommend you to waste money on it either um, you know, like I said, this game is so borderline, um, to where I don't even know if I can ethically promote it anymore. It's getting so bad. So, we're gonna have to do one more Make Clash of Kings Great Again. We're gonna call it something else, um, I don't know, maybe Rest in Peace, R.I.P., Clash of Kings. Like, I wanna actually really shake the roots. Like, I talked to some people over there. And they're really nice and everything, but the decision makers, we have to get through to the decision makers, the people at the top. That's the only way that it's going to work. Um, you know, and I'm just, I'm super fed up, guys. Uh, see, I'm like married to this game, so I could leave at any time and not miss it right now. That's how bad it is, but I don't want to leave all of you behind. And, um, you know, and as far as my channel, 80% of the people here are here for Clash of Kings videos, so... I don't want for one it would be a bad move on my part because i would lose out on um, you know the views and everybody coming to my channel of course i'm trying to grow on youtube but um you know i'd be letting a lot of people down too that count on those videos and that look forward to those videos so i'm not going to go down without a fight i will stick with the game until the game goes down but i will unless they make the changes necessary i'm not going to tell you like hey yeah, it's worth investing a little money in this game because right now it's not worth investing a penny. I mean, maybe the $5 a week badge pack, maybe uh, the monthly gift pack for gold, something like that. Beyond that, um, I don't I don't see a reason to, uh, you know, to spend much money into it because you spend all this money, thousands of dollars, and then you just get wiped out in the Dragon Campaign. 
um, two weeks in a row by the same alliance set of you know they've got hundred thousand dollar castles so that part really needs fixed there has to be some purity in the game uh, the, here's the reason why Cla they need to take notes from supercell supercell runs uh clash of clans boom beach and um, a couple other games that were big games but most recently and the best game out there clash royale and they give back to the players for one they host tournaments all the time um clash clash of kings i mean i'm talking cash money prizes and you know what's funny is clash of kings makes more money this is disgusting are you ready for this clash of kings makes more money than clash royale they don't make more money than clash of clans but they make more money than clash royale and clash royale's hosting you know hundred thousand dollar tournaments frequently like every few months they're hosting hundred thousand dollar tournaments you know it'd be cool if clash of kings had an event um you know where like the dragon campaign it'd be cool if they even gave out a thousand dollars let an alliance you know give everyone 50 bucks or something i don't know but I, i'm just losing my i'm losing my cool guys it's uh it's it's becoming not fun it's watered down uh they're just looking for more ways to get you to they're looking for more ways to get the top spenders who will who are crazy enough to spend another couple thousand dollars to max out the next thing that's all they're focused on if you look at everything that's came into the game it's all things that the small spenders they don't even sell them in five ten dollar packs name the last time you saw a research stones pack under a hundred dollars they don't make them uh, most of the badge packs or $99 and then or you get the $5 a week ones but that's like a hundred a day if you want to buy like thousands of badges they're only in the hundred dollar packs once in a while you'll see a $20 pack that has them so you know they they're not even hiding it level 43 equipment obviously only the only way to get the level 43 equipment is to buy the hundred dollar pack because you can't get it by hitting monsters it would take you know a year to actually get it um dragon graphene stone you can't hit enough monsters to get even like level 12 uh stone which is like halfway not even halfway it's like 10 percent of the way to elaborate research so everything in the game is just they're just coming out with things they don't that's the thing they're not coming out with things that you know they should do like come out with something that'll help um the big players then come out with something that'll help everybody rotate like clash royale does clash royale really cares about their players and you know what else they do and i'm not just saying this because i make youtube videos they speak to the creators they speak to the people that are in the community i guarantee you i know more about what this community wants than clash of kings does i listen to you guys and talk to you guys in the comments way more and talk way more about the game i know more about this game than they know about it and um you know they're the ones that are just making it all they know about is how to make money so they need to like um have consult like a consultant group on skype or on um qq which is what they use uh they need to have a consultant group with um you know creators youtubers um maybe some of the big spenders maybe some of the small spenders just um you know fans it doesn't even have to be me just a regular fan they could have uh, groups where they talk about hey we're thinking about putting this in the game and um you know what do you think about it well i understand you have to make money but this is gonna um actually make the game worse because it's gonna make it way harder for the smaller castles here's another thing if you guys want to do this um if you guys want to keep making the big castles so strong like godlike then you need to make it where if you attack a castle um you know three levels smaller than you or below they get a host they get a hospital bonus so let's say i'm a prestige five and i ta attack a, um let's see a prestige two castle he gets a 10 percent hospital bonus if i attack a prestige one he gets a 20 percent if i attack a th um, 30 he gets a 30 percent if i attack a 22 castle seriously he should get like a 75 80 percent hospital boost why can i as a prestige five go attack a 22 and lose like maybe 500 troops hitting a 22 and make him lose millions of power and he doesn't get some kind of help there there needs to be help balancing out i think giving hospital bonuses to all the smaller castles is going to help because so many we're losing we're losing probably thousands of players a day that quit the game because they're getting hit by bigger castles and they lose everything even a 26 if a 26 hits a level 16 castle I think the 16 castles should have like an 80% uh, hospital boost. They should lose hardly anything. 
Um, so, you know, there's so many things that are, are wrong with the game. And I don't want to see the game die out, guys. It's the last thing I want to see, which is the only reason I'm, like, trying so hard to fix it. So, um, we're going to make another video Sunday night trying to fix this. I need all your guys' suggestions in the comment section below. And this time, I'm going to try to edit the video and make it a little nicer. I'm going to try to, like... Um, leave a list. I'm going to try to like show things on the screen. I'm going to do everything that I can to make this the best Make CO okay great again video that I can I mean I can't be we can't keep doing this every other week or it's just gonna get watered down and then people are gonna stop trying like we literally really have to and by the way only about 1% of this channel participated Which is still you know um, 150 people or so but we need like hundreds of people to spam their social medias and stuff. We need you guys to go into the game and let people know in the game, hey, we're making Clash of Kings great again. Go to Daydream's channel, check out the latest video, and leave your comments on what you want to fix, what we need fixed. Because we gotta do this together, guys. Teamwork makes dream work. So let's get it done. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I think I found a castle that I'm gonna be playing on, trying to take back a kingdom with a 70 million power Korean castle. That should be fun. Um, and then... Um, someone else showed me, um, COK Jim showed me, um, another kingdom where he's gonna get me, I believe, a Prestige 2, um, with, like, 20 million power, so, I'll be playing in some other kingdoms and stuff, guys. I'm also gonna bring back the beta series, we're gonna start doing the beta videos a few times a week. I will keep, uh, you know, I'll keep, try to get some entertaining Clash of Kings content rocking and rolling for you guys, so thank you guys so much. If you guys wanna watch some awesome videos, Clash Royale on the right, Clash of Kings on the left, hit that subscribe button in the middle, and I'll see you guys in the next video tonight. Peace.